Welcome to another video. The Walk on the Wild Side, and I'm here in a very sunny Blackpool. It's a Friday afternoon, and my goodness, uh, it's gone a bit colder lately. I've got, I've even got my my jumper on, my TT jumper back on again. That's how much colder it's got. But it's not too bad at the moment because the sun is shining. It's uh, it's late afternoon now. We've got the pleasure beach behind me. Um, I think it shuts about five o'clock today. Yeah. Uh, the big one's going. You'll see the big one in a second. I can hear it going up the lift hill. Uh, but anyway, something happened here last night. In fact, it happened all over the UK. We had Aurora Borealis, a really, really strong display. Did you manage to see it? Here it goes, the big one. Dare you ride it? Wow, look at these blue skies here in Blackpool. But anyway, the Pleasure Beach is due to close any time. Uh, it's just coming up to five o'clock. I think it shuts at five on a Friday. I'm filming this on a Friday. Quite a late video, this actually. Um, so if you come into Blackpool late, and you miss the pleasure beats, they've always got, there's always the piers. Because I've spoken in the last few videos about the, the piers, South Pier and Central Pier. You can go on them, you can just walk onto them, pay on the ride. You know, you don't need to pay to get on the piers. So I think they've got the right idea. What do you think? Anyway, but back to last night. I didn't film anything for this channel, but what I did do is I did film a video for my other channel, Starman. And I'll put a link to that in the description. If you want to see my adventure last night, I didn't do anything in Blackpool. I got out of Blackpool last night. As soon as I knew that there was a chance of seeing the Aurora last night, I got myself out of here, away from all the light pollution, all the illuminations. Quite a lot of people in Blackpool did photograph the Aurora last night. I saw on Facebook loads of people going out into the backyards and photographing the Aurora. Some people got it on the front as well with the piers. It was possible to see and photograph the Northern Lights from Blackpool last night, but I took myself off up to Lancaster Way, where it was a little bit darker, and I filmed a video for my other channel, Starman. So I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to give that channel a follow. Only follow it if you're into astronomy. You know, I don't want you to follow it just because just because I'm on it, but <laughs> you can do if you want. But it's all about astronomy, that one. It's a completely different channel to this one, but. Uh, Something else I wanted to talk about as well. My foot's getting a little bit better, by the way. I can't feel it at the moment, but it comes and goes, this plantar fasciitis. I'm just having a little walk now. Sometimes if I walk, it goes away, but I'm sat down, it, uh, it hurts even more. But uh, there was something else as well. Poland, I don't know if you know, but Poland won the World Fireworks Championship. They were the first competitors and they ended up winning. Now I missed the last video the last the usa contenders but i just want to give a link to a friend of mine's channel called frank in blackpool he actually filmed behind the scenes how they put all the fireworks together he did a really good video about it if you want to see it i'll put a link in the description so if you want to see how all the fireworks were put together how they're all linked up and computer and all that i'll put a link to his channel in the description so check it out anyway the tide's in i can see an absolutely amazing view i've got to show you it's so clear i can see whales I can see everything. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Well, I'll tell you what, it's pretty quiet on Blackpool Promenade. Certainly down this way today anyway, but I'm just going to head through here, keep out. I'll just step over that if you don't mind. <laughs> don't try this at home. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this, folks. That is pretty wild. My goodness, look at that. Look at the way those waves are whipping up against the sea wall here. Notice how it's a different design of sea wall to what it is further up the coast. We've got these hexagonal blocks. This was the first phase that they did. Started around about the millennium when they did this, yeah? But just look at this now. I can see whales over there. I can see Anglesey. Wouldn't you just love to be here? in Blackpool right now.
Do I dare go down the steps? No. No. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I think I'll head back up to safety. <laughs> Let's get back up here. Oh my goodness, it is pretty wild. Oh, yeah. So, uh, don't do what I do. And don't walk through those chains when they say, keep out. What else is... Where have all these people come from? They must be part of a walking group, mustn't they? Look at that. Well, you can't get much better places to walk than on Blackpool Promenade. They're walking that way towards the mirror ball. I can see the mirror ball down there. Oh, I've just got to show you that view again. Look at that. That is amazing. And if I switch this way, you can even see the Lake District up there. It looks absolutely amazing. Wow. So how busy is Blackpool Promenade? On a Friday afternoon, mid-October. I think we're on the 11th now, aren't we? It normally is fairly quiet down this part of town, actually, to be fair, even in the summer. But uh, it can get quite a lot of cars parking along here, you know, along the promenade. But as you can see at the moment, it is pretty quiet. And I don't think there's too many people in the Pleasure Beach at the moment. It looks like they're doing some work on these lights because they've got bollards, these ballard things all around. It looks like they might be redoing these lights. We've got these fancy lights here that come over the promenade. Quite fancy, aren't they? What do you think? Yeah. It's quite like this part of the promenade, actually. They have a load of artwork along there. Not all, some of it's been taken away. I don't know if you know, but they used to have some artworks on here. There were sculptures, like six foot high sculptures of something to do with the circus and entertainment. And uh, they had to take them away because um, someone tried to nick them. Yeah, someone tried to steal them. Yeah, it was called Life as a Circus and it was by an artist called Peter Blake. So they stood on these plinths right here. Well, they were only there for a couple of years. And of course they had to take them away. It's a bloody nightmare, isn't it? There's always someone wants to nick something. Where's this tram going? It's going to Fleetwood Ferry via North Station. So if you want to go all the way to Fleetwood Ferry, there's two ways you can do it. Okay, I've just put my camera down on one of those plinths that was meant for that life as a circus uh, artwork, which uh, somebody tried to steal. I believe someone tried to steal it twice. They, put them, they took them away, they replaced it with a different type, I think. Um, and someone tried to nip that as well. But anyway, um, the trams at the moment, a bit of a mess really, isn't it? You know, all this North Station thing. If you want to go to North, if you want to go to Fleetwood, then you can either go direct by getting on one of the trams or the next tram that comes along should go to North Station during the day, up until 7, 7 p.m. Uh, but you can get on that one and then wait but it just seems a bit of a pain. What do you think, folks? But I don't know, because I've been on the tram to North Station. I went on that purely to go to North Station. But uh, coming to Blackpool, some people want to go there. Obviously, some people want to go further. They want to go to Bisburn. They might want to go to Fleetwood. So what do you think? Is it all a bit of a cock-up? Is it all a waste of money? Let me know in the comments. As the big one goes over again. But anyway, that was just a quick video from here in Blackpool, mainly just to let you know about the insane aurora that happened last night. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you saw it from where you are. Let me know. And also, my foot is a little bit... Uh, it's up and down. Sometimes it's all right. Sometimes it, it... Oh, the pain is unbelievable. But the funny thing is, is that when I go walking sometimes, it goes away. Uh, don't forget there's links in the description to Frank in Blackpool's video about the fireworks 
There's also a link to my other channel, Starman, where I went to film the Aurora up at Lancaster, so check that out. And uh, I'll leave you there now. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.